Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Uh, the intro video was the uh, smaller size uh, uh, Omega Sora all in one street light. Um, the street light, uh, which was introduced uh, in early of this year, now you can see is very well accepted in the Malaysian market, and a lot of places already install it. Um, we have a good result on that product is because, like I mentioned in my previous video, uh, part one, two, three, and then now is uh, we are doing the part four is because of the product is very very easy to install. Uh, the price is so competitive and uh, lastly the brightness is really unchallengeable yeah so um, today I'm not gonna talk about the Omega uh, the, the smaller version which is the we show about uh, you know early this year today I'm gonna uh, talk about the brother which is the largest uh, solar street light this is named under the solar Omega prime Omega Prime uh, street light is again is another all-in-one uh, that kind of design, and this one is actually a design uh, for eight meter pole. Yeah, so let's say uh, your pole get higher and uh, you need more powerful kind of uh, street light. The Omega Prime is the uh, solution for you. Yeah. Um, some of our customers really know very well about this uh, Omega Street Light, which is the brother, the, the younger ver uh, smaller version, and you'll find out it's so easy to install, and you don't even need an uh, electrician uh, to install it. And basically, the U clamp at the back, you clamp it, and you press a button. Uh, the things are already you know working. Yeah. So the big brother, the Omega Prime, is also using the same concept. Uh, U clamp at the back. Uh, press a button, uh, then you are ready to go. Yeah, um, they have some uh, feature that is special uh, design for the Omega Prime, uh, whereby beside is use it for a higher pole at meter. Uh, we also add in a certain feature. For example, for a start, uh, there are two light casing uh, instead of one. Uh, the main reason is because we want to give it uh, more brightness. Yeah, so this one is a. Uh, Full power mode, it will give you about 5,000 lumen. Yeah, 5,000 lumen uh, for 8 meter pole is, you know, I would say that is very, very good. Yeah, and in the dim mode, uh, it will maintain roughly about 1,000 plus lumen. Yeah, so 8 meter pole in a dim mode, 1,000 plus lumen, and you will find out uh, it's, it's, it's can do a very good job. Yeah, uh, the spatial reality of this uh, Omega Prime is have another feature uh, which is very special uh, in the sense is I think you go out in the world, no one have this. Yeah? Even a normal LED streetlight company or a streetlight company yeah, not, not using solar, they don't even have this feature. The feature I'm talking about is actually is our light casing can be tilted for example. It can be tilted at certain angle so that even you are at 8 meter pole, uh, your cover area uh, you know, can be wider yeah so even the pole is not very high like a 12 meter pole but we can increase the cover area the, or the, the pole by pole distance we can shorten it by just tilting the light okay but let's say if you do not want to you know cover a very long area you want a high intensity on certain spot you can tilt it back yeah uh, when we design this, it means the end user you can tilt it anytime you want. Yeah? But let's say uh, you install in the street and you worry about the light is hitting uh, the driver, yeah? things like that. Uh, you can tilt this as the uh, opposite direction, for example, like this. Yeah? Let's say the car is coming from this direction, the light is focused on the opposite direction. So by doing that, uh, it will not, you know hurt the eyes and things like that yeah so this speciality is, is only uh, come from us and I think we are the first one to come up with uh, this, this kind of design yeah uh, we also have another feature basically is already embedded uh, in uh, the first the, the smaller version yeah uh, during the previous video we did not want to talk much about it is because uh, it's something like our secret and we do not want to uh, show it too many especially for other people to copy uh, but now this day we install a lot out there I think a lot of people already figure out uh, this, this thing is whereby 
our motion sensor compared to other, uh, we can, uh, like for example this one, we can tilt uh, to any direction. Again, this one is adjustable to any direction that you like, so that it's much easy uh, for us to pinpoint the target location. Not like others is whereby uh, they are fixed at one point. Uh, it's very hard for them uh, to target a uh, target area. For example, the version that I show, uh, it comes with the uh, a degree. We call it a de degree locator. So basically, you can tilt at any location that you like, and uh, you know you can uh, control it as uh, where is the target area. And some of you also, when you get uh, to order the uh, Mini Omega, this smaller version, uh, you, sometimes you get a surprise. Is whereby uh, I'm just gonna uh, remove this. I'm not sure whether you can see it. Uh, can you see the changing color on the locator? All right, and as well as here, can you see the changing color? All right, the light was off because uh, they detected there is a. Uh, Sunlight, yeah. Can you see the changing color here? All right. Uh, this is actually is the we call it the spatial anniversary uh, editions of our Omega Street Light, whereby is uh, uh, we put it as a decoration, whereby it can change uh, color for the logo and for the indicator uh, it's actually just a special edition uh, sometimes you might get this version and whereby it can change color yeah uh, not everyone manufactured in this way it's just the anniversary celebration uh, certain unit come with that yeah so uh, I think a lot of people love this feature whereby uh, uh, it can change um, color yeah as, as this go yeah so uh, I will show you some video uh, maybe on you know part five, part six, and where we install this so-called the Omega Prime, the heavyweight uh, street light, uh, especially on the eight meter pole, and you will be surprised uh, what is coming. Uh, so of course we do not want to review too much right right now, but I will assure you you will be surprised at how this thing uh, perform. Yeah, so do uh, follow us on the. Uh, Part 5, part 6, even part 7, yeah? Uh, it's like a too fast, too furious, so uh, a lot of parts, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, our... Now it's getting dark, and we have this um, Omega Prime set up at uh, roughly about 8.5 uh, meter height. Um, to point out at the out location there, uh, whereby a lot of vehicles move in and out so that we can test the, you know, the sensor itself yeah? All right, like for example one car just came out so the sensor in here uh, are designed to test uh, that kind of function yeah? alright so let's just wait about dark and uh, I'll right. show you how this works so right form. now I'm gonna you know, turn on the um, Omega Prime and let's see how it go uh, now there now it's a very dark without any light All right, I'm gonna turn it on Okay, this is the uh, power of the Omega Prime on the uh, full power mode. All right, you can see that uh, cover a very, very huge, huge area, and this is a full power mode. Let give it for a while to you know turn to a uh, dim mode. Okay, now is the dim mode. All right. So, 1000 lumen plus, I would say that is, is good enough uh, for, you know, light up the area, even let's say no people uh, detected or no car around. Okay, let's try to activate it, alright. Now it's full power mode. You can see very, very clearly how bright the thing is. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to tilt the light. Okay, to a certain direction so that uh, as you can see here, I'm going to tilt it. Okay, so uh, now is let's say the light without tilt, 
this is going to be uh, something like that. Yeah. So I'm going to tilt it at one side. Uh, activate the full power, and the other light is going to tilt at the other side. Okay. You see the area that it cover uh, become wider when you start to tilt the light. Okay. So compared to let's say if I tube it back, right? Can you see that at the side here? Right? And tilt at the toward the right. Now I'll go back to the demo. Okay, and I activate it in full power mode. So I'm gonna tilt it uh, to the right. Now back. Okay. Can you see that? To the side there? Okay, probably I'll do it this place. Okay, you see the, the cover area uh, become larger with this uh, kind of a design with the rotation uh, light bulb. The light right now is at the uh, dim mode. So right now we just want to wait for a car, uh, you know, that come up from this exit and see whether the car can, you know, activate the uh, full power mode. Alright, so what we have to do right now is just to wait for a car. Oh, there's a people in a car come back at the same time. I don't know what will happen. Right. Oh, the human being actually activate the full power mode. Uh, right now it's at the D mode. And when there is a car coming, it actually has activated uh, the full power mode. Yeah. And you can see the area that cover uh, on the full power mode is quite large uh, area yeah the reason is because um, this guy is actually is in the tilted uh, or rotation part at the maximum okay now go back to the uh, demo so I'm um, gonna walk toward it and see how it goes now uh, the motion sensor have activated uh, in the full power mode again um, I'm gonna put a lumen uh, sorry, not a lumen meter, a lux meter at, uh, at the bottom of it and see how many lux I get. Uh, right now it's roughly about 40 lux. Yeah, it's actually it's jumping. Let me uh, station it. It's roughly about um, 39 lux on the full power mode. Now it dropped back to roughly about 9 to 10 lux on the uh, deep mode. Yeah, right so now the Omega Prime. Uh, is at the deep mode. Uh, what we want to do right now is actually is to wait for a car that come up from that uh, exit. Uh, it's quite far away. Let's see whether this guy, uh, you know, can detect uh, a car and then give a full power mode. Yeah. Um, so what we have to do right now is probably we just need to you know wait for a car uh, to come up. Yeah, here we go. Oops. Yep, the car does come out. It's already full power. The sensor is designed very uh, long range so that it can uh, you know, target a certain location and light up uh, you know, accordingly. Let me know another secret. Uh, yes, how heavy is this guy? Uh, I would say the weight is manageable. Uh, compared to our competitor out there, uh, our competitor that in the uh, 5,000 lumen and above uh, category, uh, they're probably around roughly about 18 to 19 kg. 
uh, but for us it's roughly about uh, 14 kg which is much much lighter uh, when it's lighter it's much easier to transport and much easier to carry and for installation especially uh, imagine that you carry a very heavy weight kind of thing and uh, try to install and then when the thing is too heavy too long too heavy and too long if you compare to our competitor our is a bit short a bit wide but lighter when compared to the very long one and very heavy one and you stick it on a very tiny kind of hole uh, then it's much be a bit challenging yeah? but for us uh, we thought of that so that's why uh, we make it lighter uh, shorter and uh, stronger uh, you climb in the back so that you can secure uh, yeah, in the pole, alright?